little guys, King of Mayhem, back here. I'm uh, gonna set up a mob farm. As you can see, I've built a fairly large structure up here. Um, we'll go up the ladder and check it out. But so what I want to do is I want to sweep uh, mobs from one end to the middle, and they will drop down. And then I will use. I want to use a mob grinder. I haven't actually seen what kind of mob grinders are in here. Uh, Draconic Evolution, we're a long ways from that. Mob fan. Pushes mobs in one direction. Might use that. Back. Mob masher. Easy. Advanced. I think we're going to try this mob masher here. I've never used it before. So, to begin with, I want to... I'm actually only going to use a portion of this uh, section right here, because I only have the four slime balls. I uh, got a thing of milk. I got a bucket of milk in a loot bag. And then I took a barrel with water in it and you take milk and put it in there with the water and that will turn into some slimes so that's how I got those and so that gives me 32 vector plates and then if I look at these I think you just and that gives me 32 fast vector plates This is nowhere near enough to do what I want to do. So I made this three high so that because I wanted Enderman to spawn in here. Okay, so that's all we got. I'm actually gonna. Ooh, you're slow to pick up. Okay. Um. Thinking I will lock this off a little bit. Because it's dark outside and I haven't put torches on the top of this yet, that's why I'm getting mob spawn up there. So if you sneak, you can walk on these, but as soon as I stand up, I'll just immediately get thrown all the way to the back. So I'm going to block this out right here. And that means that any mobs that spawn in this section right here will be pushed into the floor right here. So I'm going to take block this out. this out and as soon as I get more slimes I'll go ahead and, and actually uh, set this up more proper I'll, I'll punch these walls back out I'll punch that wall that I created there all the way to the back. So that is it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and fill that up. And that should push any mobs into the center here.
and the fall should kill mostly kill him and then I want to do a mob grinder and finish him off um, looks like the only mob grinder in him anywhere clear close to making is this guy so let's grab a stack of sticks all my diamonds um, I don't know if I need stone wood I'm always needing wood to build anything all right let's see what we can build so we need one, two, those are not stackable, and then we're going to grab a stack of iron. So I need how many swords? Let's get rid of some of the junk in my inventory. So I'm just holding shift and then I can just slide everything in here. That should be enough. Alright. So I've got to make three, so nine swords. six blocks of iron it's a little expensive on the iron but I mean it's not a big deal I'm at the point where now where iron's not a huge issue to get uh, redstone is too full. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And was that a block in the middle? Yes. Swords just go down one more. Okay, and we should have everything to make a block masher. Let's just go ahead and double click there, clear out my inventory. And, ooh, loot back. Let's see what we got in the loot bag. Nothing of your use. Um, hoping I don't die when I go in here. Let's take a peek. It looks like things are dying. I made this 25 blocks high. So maybe I'll... Maybe I'll uh, build this up just one block. And then place my grinder. Alright, so what is this? Uh, looks like there's some options if you right click on it. Or how do we turn this on? Does it need power? Ooh, I don't want to leave this open. Okay, just block that up. Gen okay, we're looking for survivals generator. 
right here. Let's also... I don't know, this may need a lever. Let's, let's build this up actually even the one higher. I mean, it looks like... Looks like things are still uh, dying from the fall. So if we do that... Take a bucket of water. I want to put a lever on the bottom of this so I can turn it on. So, let's grab my bucket. I'm so excited to have a mob farm. I want inner pearls really bad. I'm so sick of not having inner pearls. Okay. And let's see, where's my lever? Uh, looks like I just chiseled those into something different. On accident. Trying to kill that guy. Okay, here's my lever. We got it placed. So let's get rid of these. I don't like them. So we'll replace that, that. Place the mob grinder. Turn my lever on. Is it? Well, it's working. It's not visually there. That's kind of weird. Ah, there it is. I don't know why that was weird. And I died. For some reason, my spawn point has ended up on top of that. <coughs> and I think I think we're done there. Um, I did manage to collect a couple ender pearls, and so I just want to make one more thing from. Need one ender pearl to do it. Oh, my inventory's messy. Looks like. Looks like I didn't actually uh, need that. Or didn't use these up completely. Alright, so. Let's build an item collector. So one thing I did while I was off camera is I have a cobblestone generator, pumps into these crucibles, which we made one, so I made three more later, and then I've got fluid transfer nodes pumping into this barrel, another item transfer node pumping, 
obsidian out of it. So now I have a source for obsidian. It's really slow. I'm on a server. Um, I'm just I'm using a server that I've got at my house, so it's not a big deal for me. Oh, need one more iron. So this just runs all the time. Hopper done. And tree, well, that's not what I wanted. I don't know. I've never actually used this. I don't know. Maybe it has to be on a. don't know if that has to be, like if, what's the range on this? Like I don't know if it has to be open or if it can actually, uh, so it looks like it's got the range, oh yeah, we're, we're collecting stuff. So let's just put that back here. And that is it for now. Um, I mean, I've got a lot more to do on this, but I've got a basic, very basic, uh, go back in there, put some of these more vector plates, pushing mobs into that grinder to kill them off better. But for now, it's working. I don't know if I'm going to keep this item collector. I mean, I've never used it before. I don't know if it'll uh, collect experience. the differences in the advanced. What's the advanced one? It's really easy. It does seem like this doesn't have quite the range I want it to have. So let's turn this into advanced. Uh, glowstone, redstone, torch. we have an advanced item collector. For better or for worse. Okay, now we got a radius. I don't know what this slot is. One more thing. Let's grab this, this, this. So let's build some chest. Upgrade our chest a little bit, and that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to build ten of those. I'll use them, but it's uh, glass. I already know that I made some glass over here. Okay, good. I swear I picked up some gold. Alright, 
so we've got some gold. we can go from So I don't know if you ever use these, but you just apply them, right click, upgraded, upgraded, upgraded. And it pulled the item collector off, but we can put that back on, make sure we can just... Alright, everything seems to be working. I mean, I just wanted a little more storage space. wonder what it looks like in there. It does look like we're going to need those. But for now, it's fine. Let's uh, grab our. Look at that, we already got a head, some gunpowder, bows, garbage. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Sorry, I mean, it was kind of a short video. But, I do need to get back up on top and put some torches. And fall down and die, I guess. That's, that's something I was going to do.